Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Blaze and today we are back with another video. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with y'all the history of pink wood in Lumber Tycoon 2. Now, we all know Default 2 loves the color pink. There's tons of pink things in this game, from the pink trucks to the pink sign here, to the pink balls that are in the woods of us, to the pink plank, that's where my cursor is inside that mountain, to the pink uh, wood that used to be under the swamp rock. I just recently made a video about the swamp rock, to the pink wood that used to be you know, under here in the end times biome. There's tons of examples of pink wood and pink items in this game. But did you know that the pink tree was actually a thing? Yes, you heard me right. The pink wood is actually, or was actually, a tree in this game many years ago. And I'm going to be showing with you all the history of it very briefly in today's video. So the pink wood, you know, it was known officially in the game as the generic special wood, or probably known in the files as that. Uh, it was it was a, a genuine, like, classified wood type in Lumber Tycoon 2 that has since been removed from the game. You know, I think in the files it was labeled generic special uh, in the game files. But what's unique is that it was never actually mentioned in the change log as ever being added. It was never really recognized by the community as being a wood type. Why, you might ask, is because look at the picture of this. It looks exactly like a, a piece of oak wood. You know, it looks exactly like an oak tree until you cut into it and you realize, oh crap, there's pink inside of it. This is not a, a you know, this is not the oak wood that we all kind of know and love. It's all around us right here, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here. Now, on June 28th, 2016, the wood was like officially confirmed to be a wood type, but an extremely rare wood type with a spawn rate of 1 in 10,000. And if only a few days later though, on July 1st of, of that same year, 2016, the wood was decommissioned. In other words, it was taken out of the game and, and every single pink tree uh, was replaced with an oak tree. Now, that didn't stop exploiters from being able to, you know, exploit this tree into the game and fill blueprints with the pink wood, but the follow through made it so that, well, those, those filled blueprints that were, that were filled with, with pink wood would be converted to oak wood whenever they uh, reloaded the game or rejoined the game. So super interesting, super, super interesting. It was an actual wood that had a spawn rate that was 1 in 10,000, and you didn't know it was pink until you cut into it, which is kind of weird. You know, because you're not going to cut down tons and tons of oak trees. Uh, and some people might recognize that, hey, this is not a normal oak tree, but it's kind of still unknown by the community. It's not recognized as an actual tree. So, and plus, the game was new. You know, I, we don't know when this was added. The Fallout 2 made the game, uh, you know, mid-2015 or so. So this is about a year later, about in the summer of 2016. And we don't know how long this was in the game. <laughs> it was only, you know, recognized and then short after taken out of the game, I'm assuming because the Fallout 2 is like, oh, they found my Easter egg or whatever. I'm not going to make this a thing. I don't know what his thought process was. But I think many people have come to desire that the, the Fallout 2 adds this every single April Fool's. We just had our April, not just had our April Fool's, uh, but, you know, weeks ago we had that, a month ago, whenever I upload this video, <laughs> we had we had that. And that would be, be a cool addition for the Fallout 2 to add some sort of, uh, you know, this back into the game, maybe increase the spawn rate so that we can actually find them, but leaving them as the, you know, on the outside looking like an oak wood, an oak tree, uh, would be a, a nice game for us, a nice challenge for us to find the actual pink tree, then we could keep it, and if default to, you know, allows us to have it on our base, and then that would be honestly super cool, because then we could sell it to other players, and that would become a whole economy of its own, right? Uh, what's also interesting is that, uh, this wood does still exist in the game code, but you can't actually, again, get it into the game or else it's just going to turn into oak wood. Moreover, uh, the the log as well as the plank version of this wood were changed to zero, meaning that when you tried to sell it, it wouldn't give you anything to begin with. So Developer really tried to make this thing not useful at all for us. It seemed as if it was like an Easter egg of sorts that he, once, we found him out, once we found it out, he kind of just took it out of the game. Uh, so that's a brief history of yet still, you know, relatively extensive history of the pink wood in Lumber Tycoon 2. There's tons of pink things to fall to. Loves the color pink. Here's something pink. And this was an actual wood type that was in the game. So leave in the comments below if you think default to should add this back, you know, whether it be for uh, uh, April Fool's prank or for some other event or something uh, totally different. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this. This is super cool, super interesting. Hope you learned something new. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell for me so that you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.